Google is making the leap from search engines to car engines, but not for just any car. The new Google car is unlike anything else on the road because it drives itself. Becky Worley joins us via Skype, and you went along for a test drive, didn't you, Becky? I did. Good morning, Robin. Yeah, you, you heard that right. Google, the internet company, has been secretly working on a sophisticated combination of hardware and software that could revolutionize the feasibility of a self-driving car. Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness for the first time on any screen a preview of things to come in your car of tomorrow. Ah, old visions of futuristic cars. First, cruise control. Then cars that park themselves. And then ones that helped you avoid fender benders. But now... And now it's driving again. A self-driving car. And from, of all companies, Google. It uses cameras inside to spot traffic lights and other things. It also uses this thing on the top, which is a scanning laser. They say this car has already driven itself 140,000 miles. Driven itself? Really? Here's how it works. You tell the car your destination, it plots a route, it's aware of speed limits, traffic patterns, and known obstacles. So the wheel just turned completely by itself? Completely by itself. It's not intended to replace drivers, but to help them. It's like, you know, super cruise control. Imagine clicking the button for auto drive when you wanted to dial a phone number or read a text. If you wish to drive it, just fine. If you wish to waste 52 minutes in commute traffic, go ahead, be my guest. In fact, Google touts safety as their motivation. They say this technology could one day cut traffic deaths in half. Whoa. It got really nervous. Yeah, it must have thought it saw somebody coming in down the on-ramp. So how does it handle stop signs and alternating turns with other cars at intersections? Cross walk ahead. It would be the same probably with, with pedestrian safety in the sense of using the, uh, the, the radio signals to check and see who's in front of them, who's around. But how does it handle the unexpected? How about a little game of chicken? It stopped. But I was really scared it wouldn't. My hope is that we uh, transform the society to make uh, traffic safer, more efficient, and also more pleasurable. Now, Google says they have no plans to bring this to the consumer market anytime soon. They don't know what it would cost when it does come to market. But besides safety, they say this hopes to, they hope this reduces emissions, reduces our dependence on fossil fuels, and, Robin, eases congestion. All of that would be great things, but this doesn't replace the driver because I can hear some seniors now that are watching going, hey, you know, my kids don't want me to drive. If I have this, can I do it? But you have to have still some ability to drive. The driver is still very much a right. part of the process. The driver is liable in terms of the law, and this is a supplement. It's always alert. It never looks down to text. It's just there to help you drive. Weren't you a little scared when you walked out in the crosswalk like that? <laughs> I was terrified. I really had a moment, and I think that's an impediment. Self-driving cars, will we ever be comfortable with that? That is the question, my friend. Thank you, Becky. Have a great Pleasure. day. Thanks.